So welcome back to Math Fantasy Football. We are going to talk about how to calculate the points for each of our players. On Tuesdays, after all of the games for the week prior have been played, we will go and get the fantasy points for each of our players. To do this, we need to go to the link for the statistics for our players, which is the one that says Weekly Player Stats. We're going to go to that page, and then we're going to search for the week that we just played. So we just did Season 2020, Week 1. But because the games have not played yet, I'm going to look at the 2019 season just to show you how to fill out your statistics or to find your statistics. So let's go to the 2019 season. All this information is filled in. If you are looking at your statistics and your numbers are really big like this, I'm going to guarantee that you are looking at the season statistics and not at one of the weekly st scores themselves. So you have to remember what week we're looking at. We're looking at week one, so make sure you click on one. And if you notice, the statistics change dramatically. So we are going to pick or get the information for each of our players. To do this, we are going to scroll all the way over to the right and scroll up and go to the search bar. And we're going to put each of our players in one by one. The more information you can put in, the better, but make sure you spell their names right. So Patrick Mahomes is our first player. Put their name in and click search. You're going to get all the statistics for that week. So let's move this picture out of the way. Hmm. We are going to look at week one statistics from last year. So let's pull up, let's put all the information in one field or one screen, and we'll go to our table to look to see what we need. So we need first to figure out how many touchdowns Patrick Mahomes had for the week. So in our screen, we have three different places to look for touchdowns. We have under passing yards, under rushing yards, under receiving yards. We're not going to worry about anything else for the touchdown column itself. Just passing, rushing, and receiving. So if you look under each of those columns, you will see that he only received three touchdowns under the passing yardage. So under touchdowns, you're first going to put three. So the very first thing we're going to do is get all the raw st data for our fantasy points, all the yardage. Then we'll go back and figure out the fantasy points. So now we need to figure out how many passing yards Patrick Mahomes had. So under passing, go under the yardage, he had 378. So we're going to type 378 in his passing yards. Now we need to figure out rushing yards and receiving yards. So under both rushing and receiving, for rushing he had two, receiving he had none. So we're going to put a two under rushing and a zero under receiving. Turnovers, in that column we have fumbles and we have interceptions. So as a quarterback, we wanna see if they were intercepted. For Patrick Mahomes, he had no interceptions. For fumbles in this column, he has nothing. So we are going to put a zero for that column. Now we have to calculate the fantasy points for each of these, these columns. For touchdowns, he gets six points per touchdown. Well, three times six is 18. So I'm going to put 18 points. For passing yards, he gets one point for every 25 yards. Well, I like to try and do these things in my head Let's slide this over. So I have a little mental math hint over here in the corner for passing yards. It basically says, think of your passing yards as money. If I take that 378 yards and I convert it to $3.78, well, if I'm to divide that amount by 25, 25 is the same amount as a quarter. So I need to figure out how many quarters are in $3.78. I know there are four quarters for every dollar. Well, if I have three dollars, three times four, that's 12. So in three dollars, I've got 12 quarters. 
So 12 quarters in this hand. Well, in this hand, I have 78 cents. So 25 cents, 50 cents, 75 cents, a dollar. Don't have a dollar. I got 78 cents. So I have three quarters and I got three pennies. So 12 quarters plus three quarters is 15 quarters. So now I have to look at rushing yards and receiving yards. It's one point for every 10 yards. Well, I don't have 10 yards yet. So in both of these columns, he has zero points. For turnovers, these are going to be negative points. We're going to subtract them from the total. But because there are no turnovers, he has zero points deducted from his score. So now I have to figure out his total score for the week. 18 plus 15 is 33. He has 33 points. Now I have to do the same thing for Mark Ingram. So I'm going to search up Mark Ingram. Looking at Mark Ingram, he's not going to have any passing yards because he's not a quarterback. We're so, but we're going to look still for touchdowns, again, in the same three places and he only has two touchdowns so under the TD column I'm going to put two if you would like to figure out your touchdown points right away you can do that two times six is 12 so he has 12 points again no passing yards so I'm going to go to rushing yards and receiving yards for rushing yards he has a hundred and seven points he does not have any receiving yards so for rushing yards, I put 107. For receiving yards, I put zero. Well, to figure out how many fantasy points for rushing yards, it's one point for every 10 yards. And again, I have some mental math hints over here in the columns. It says for rushing yards and receiving yards, we're going to look at the digits in the tenths place and in the hundreds place. Well, if I have 107 points, I have a digit in the hundreds place, and I have a digit in the tens place. I'm going to disregard the digit in the ones place. So I'm disregarding the seven. What I'm left over with is 10. And if you think about it, 107 divided by 10 is going to be 10 points. We got 10 points for the week. When you're looking at fantasy points, you're going to round your points down, especially if you get a decimal. Round them down. Let's look for turnovers. He has none, nothing, no interceptions because he's not a quarterback, and no fumbles. So that gets a zero. Again, add up your points. 12 plus 10 is 22. We're going to do the same thing for Julio Jones and Evan Engram. So now we have all of our scores calculated. We have to figure out our weekly total, so we're going to add them. 33 plus 22 plus 9 plus 17. So if you can do it in your head, great. 7 plus 3 is 10. So 33 plus 17 is going to be 50. 50 plus 22 is 72. 72 plus 9 is 81. So for the week, we have 81 points, okay? So you're going to take that 81 points, and you're going to go back to slide one. Slide one, you're going to put 81 points, okay? And then you're going to go to your running total and type in your total. So say we have scores for week two and week three. So week two, you, got, you received 70 points, Week three, you receive 95 points. Well, at this point, you want to make sure that your running total represents all of your scores up until whatever week we're on. So your running total would be 81 plus 70 plus 95, okay? So that's what your running total would be, but you're going to put in that answer. So let's figure it out mentally. Five plus one is six, okay? So nine plus seven plus eight. Well, I know eight plus seven is 15. Nine plus 15 is 24. So my running total is 246 points. 
After you figure out your scores on Tuesday for your warm-up, you'll be turning your, your file in to me. I'll check everything, and I'll return it to you so you can pick your team before Thursday's games. So if you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully this video helped you figure out how to calculate your scores.